Hi, first grade. Today we're going to talk more about muscles. We're going to get that heart pumping, the most important muscle in our body. Get that blood flowing through your body. All right, today I have some masks, and I want to ask if you think if these people are strong. All right, here's the first mask. All right, do you know who I am? That's right, Iron Man. Is Iron Man strong? Do you think he has a lot of muscles? Yeah, he probably does. All right, the next one is not a mask. It goes on my back like this. You know who I am? I like pizza a lot. I know that. Ninja Turtles, are they strong? You think so? I don't know who this is. You're gonna have to text me and tell me who this is. I don't know who it is. Is that a Power Ranger maybe? Are they strong? And this last one, somebody really strong, soldier. Yeah, we're thankful for our soldiers. See if I can get my hat straight here. Yeah, soldiers are very strong. Yes, very strong. Thank you soldiers for all you do for our country, fighting for our country, keeping us free. All right, let's get started today. Today, we are going to start where we always start with reading our words. And today we have a spelling test that we'll save till the end. So here we go. We're gonna get started with a soft C sound. It sounds like an S. Mice. Uber. Ice. Ace. When I'm playing tennis, ace. Face. Race, place, pace. You have to run at a good pace so you don't get too tired. Page, cage, wage, stage. Yeah, someday you'll be on the stage for the musical, third and fourth grade. All right, so this will be the spelling test today. You can be getting your spelling paper ready. We'll do that at the very end. Before we do go noodle, we'll do it then. All right, moving on, let's see what this says. Run a race, jump up and down. You will get stronger and stronger. It's very important to move your body every day. All right, our workbook page today is 102 and we have some adverbs. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. An adverb is a word that describes how an action was done and many adverbs in an L-Y. Remember that one part? How would you pet a porcupine? Carefully, carefully, careful, L-Y, L-Y. So what can you do quickly? What's something you can do quickly? Hmm, I'm trying to think of something I can do quickly. We really should, I mean, I could brush my teeth quickly, but that's not something you should do quickly. You need to take your time on that. I'm going to write that I can swim quickly because I can actually do, what is it? Oh, I can actually swim without my arms and I can beat my husband in the water when we have a race. But if we do backstroke, he always wins because he's got really long arms. So I can swim quickly. And you need to write it in a complete sentence. Now you don't have to write swim. You can write something that you can do quickly. Maybe you can run quickly. Maybe you can do the monkey bars quickly. Maybe you can do a cartwheel quick, quickly. Maybe you can hmm, do a somersault quickly. Maybe you can, hmm, what's something else we could do quickly? I'm sure you'll have a lot of good answers. I'd like to call on you now so you could tell me some of your answers. Number two, what can you do happily? Happily. Well, I know something I can do happily. I can smile happily. So think of something that you can do happily. What can you do? 
We can say, I can set the table happily without complaining. I can eat my food happily. Let's say thank you for preparing my food. I can make my bed happily. I can do my homework happily. Yes, today we have a math test. What can you do carefully? Well, I mean, just like the video, I could say I could shake a porcupine's hand carefully. I could say that. Something I could do carefully. I guess I think of careful when I think of like an egg because I don't want to break it. I can, I guess I'll say break an egg carefully because I don't want to get the shell in there. Sometimes when I break it too harshly, shell gets everywhere inside my food. I'm like, Ew. I don't want, I don't like to eat shell. It's all crunchy. I could break an egg carefully. You could um, brush your dog carefully or pet your dog carefully. You could pet your cat carefully. Um, what's something else that's breakable that you don't want to break? I guess you need to carry a gallon of milk carefully. I had a gallon of milk bust in my car once. Oh, that was a mess. That was a stinky smell. This is the hardest one, I think, for me. What can you do sloppily? Because, I mean, I can do a lot of things sloppily, but you're not really supposed to. Um, I mean, I could do my homework sloppily, but that's not. it doesn't make it look nice. I guess I could say I can paint sloppily. Sometimes, like Eric Carl. He would just paint like the whole page and then he would cut out the different shapes of what he wanted to make. Like on the Hungry Caterpillar, he cut out each circle to make the Hungry Caterpillar. So if you think of something good for sloppily, you can let me know. Because I had a really hard time with that. Like what can I do? I could eat a sloppy joe sloppily, I guess. What can you do softly? S softly. Uh, I could pet my dog. I could pet Sandy softly. I could pet a bunny softly. So something, I could lay my head on my pillow softly, like very softly, lay my head down. I guess I can pet my dog softly. Because Sandy doesn't like to be pet harshly. She likes it very soft. And the last one we can't read. I'm going to have to go down a little bit lower for you to see it. It says, what can you do easily? This was the easiest one for me because I think when you know how to do something easily, like a lot of you, you know, you can do the monkey bars easily, you can run easily, you can write easily, you can read easily. I'm gonna say I can hula hoop easily because that's something I can do easily. You need to think of something that you can do. So, I mean, this page is gonna take a little bit longer because you have to write complete sentences and every sentence starts with a capital letter. Every sentence ends with either a period, a question mark, or an exclamation mark. It's spaces between your words. So now that I've shared those, you can share those with your parents, and they can see Annoying Orange and Benjamin Franklin talk to help us remember our sentence structure. Capital letters, periods, spaces, all that good stuff. So if you're, not, if you're still not done, which is perfectly fine, just put it on pause, and you can take a look at it. I'm going to go ahead and move along and clear this out. And we're going to go along to finish reading the rest about muscles, super duper muscles. Yesterday we talked a little bit about how muscles are inside of your body. You have hundreds of muscles. And we talked about a really important muscle is the heart. And you don't need to tell it to beat. And we also talked a little bit about hiccups. All right, so today we are going to be on the page where the girl is doing a cartwheel. And if you would like to read first, just go ahead and pause. You can go ahead and read it to me. And then you can unpause it when we can read together. You have hundreds and hundreds of muscles in your body. Your body can never make a single new muscle. So you can't make new muscles. But you can help the muscles you have stay strong. How? Use them every day. Move. 
Stretch, jump. Stretching and bending keep your muscles flexible. Spin. If you keep moving your muscles, they can get stronger and stronger. And that's why as we get older, you know, sometimes we don't have recess as grown-ups. So we have to think of other ways to move our muscles. You know, maybe we get on the treadmill and run, or maybe we take a walk outside. You know, we have to think of a fun way. Some people do yoga. You have to think of a fun way. We ride our bike, pogo stick, hula hoop, jump rope, playing basketball, baseball, planting a garden. All those things can get us moving and bending around. Even your heart gets stronger when you get up and go. So it's so important to keep your heart strong because it's in charge of pumping all that blood through your body. So you want your heart to be a strong muscle. All right, that seemed like short today, very short. Yeah, I guess we saved the shortest for last. Are there any questions that I can think to ask you? What can I ask you? What does it mean when it says get up and go? What does get up and go mean? Where did it say that at? Right here. When you get up and go. Yeah, when you get up and run, jump, play, exercise. Those are all important for getting up and going. All right, I'll go ahead and explain the practice page today. Practice page 75. Today, you will be using these words at the top to answer the questions about the super duper muscle story. We have signal, stretchy, stronger, team up, and flexible. And remember, flexible means that you can bend, you can really bend, and flexibility takes regularity. In order to get flexible, you have to do it over and over again. Like we were trying in gym class to touch our nose to the floor or our nose to our knee. We, we knew we had to keep practicing that every day to get flexible. And some of you could already do that. And it talked about how the muscles team up and they work together. And in order to get our muscles stronger, we have to work our muscles every day. Sitting around playing video games is not going to make our muscles stronger. And our muscles are stretchy. And the signal, I think we talked a little bit about sometimes it, you have to signal your brain to move a muscle, but like the heart just moves on its own and blinking your eyes. But if I want to do this, then I'm actually signaling. I'm saying, okay, brain, I'm going to lift my hands up now. I'm going to keep doing it. Zap it, zap it, make it happen. Do, 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 do. That was a funny video yesterday. All right, we're going to go back now and we're going to take our spelling test. We'll go back to spelling. So you need to find your packet. And you need to go to the third page with a spelling test on it. Name on your paper, first thing. Name on your paper, first thing. Before we start, I'm going to show you the soft C. The soft C it says the S sound, mice. Show the cards one last time. City. Show you the soft G. Cage. And magic. All right, let's begin. Kind. What kind of bird is that? Kind. Kind. What kind of bird is that? Kind. Kind. K-I-N-D. You can hear all the sounds. K-I-N-D. Kind. Number two. Buy. Did you buy a new ball? Buy. 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 Our Go Noodle bit today is going to be about that spelling word. Buy. Bye. Find. Let's find a place to sit. Find. Find. If you can spell kind, you can spell find. 
I -d find. Right. Raise your right hand. Right. 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 Remember the song we sang for I? To help you remember the three letters that say I. Wash. You have to wash your hands before lunch. Wash. Wash. You hear the wa and you hear the shh. Wash. Light. The bag is very light. 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 Face. face. He, had he had a happy look, look on, on his, his face. 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 Sorry about that. I pressed it twice. Face. He had a happy look on his face. 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 F face. F a face. Face. Place. What place did you go for vacation? Place. Place. P place. 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 Cage. I keep my hamster in a cage. 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 C -a -age. C -a -age. Cage. Page. Write your name on the page. Page. Page, huh, page, page. All right, that is the end of the spelling test. If there's someone available that can grade your test, hand your paper in and have them grade your test. If there's no one available, then you can just send it back in for packet pickup and I will grade it for you. See how you did. All right, I had a request for Geraldine. Somebody said they really like Geraldine. So we have a Geraldine video today. Let me see if I can find it. Hola, Geraldine. Nice to see you again once more. For today's lesson, Geraldine, I'm going to teach you about the G letter shape that makes the G sound. G, G, G. And there it is to your side. Okay? The G sound can be found in many, many words. Can you have a look around the house to see what starts with the letter sound? So off she went around the house to find something beginning with G. Ooh, Geraldine, you have found a glass. Ooh, be careful. We wouldn't want it to smash, would we? So we found a glass to hold your favorite drink. Better leave Frau Milk for Geraldine. What else can you find, Geraldine? Ooh, those are your swimming goggles. I love those, Geraldine. They're rather splendid. They help you see underwater. Bleh. Cool, I really like those. What else can you find? Ah, you found a pair of glasses wow and they are green also can you see me really clearly with those glasses geraldine 
No, I didn't think so. But they begin with the g sound still, so well done, good find. Now, Geraldine, can you have a go of making that g sound? Off you go. Meh. No, Geraldine. Took your head down a little bit. That's it. Have one more go of making that g sound. G, g, g. Geraldine, come on now. Be cooperative. Do you know, actually, Geraldine, I've noticed something. That G letter is at the start of your name. But, but, but it's a soft G that makes the sound in your name. J, j, j. So we'll learn about that in a different video. Can you have a go of the g sound? G. One more try, nice and loud. G. Sit, shake your tail feathers. Right, have one more go of that g sound. One, two, three. G. Well done, I like how you use your lips really, really well to make that g sound. Good girl, Geraldine. Bye for now. Geraldine's always so silly. All right, we're going to stop sharing. Oh, there's another Geraldine. Geraldine does a lot of phonics videos. Thanks to Mr. Thorne and Geraldine. Did you hear that? Did you hear him say about the soft G? Soft G, 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 Geraldine, G. All right, let's see. Where do we need to go now so we can get to our Go Noodle? Let's see, if we go here, this might work. Let's go here. And I need to go up to the top to Go Noodle. All right, this is called homophones. Homophone is when a word is spelled exactly the same but it has different meaning. And Blazer, Blazer Fresh is gonna dance. Tell us about it. Download new Go Noodle Games app. Play at home, it rocks. All right, I wanna make sure that it's sharing. All right, we're good. Bye, bye, bye. Woo! Go noodle with it, blaze the fresh. Let's go, yo, you're about to get your mind blown. Cause I'm about to rap about the homophone. Yeah, quick, get your grandmama on the phone. Cause we're gonna hear all about the homophone. Homophones are different meaning words that sound exactly the same. That's correct. This might sound kind of tricky, but I know you got the freshest brain. I do. Here, like H E A R means to perceive a sound. A sound. I can't hear a single thing but this basset hound. Ooh. Here, like H E R E means in this place. Like I stand here and you stand there so you don't drool in my face. Ew. You're like Y O U R means it belongs to you. It's mine. Your breath is kind Kind of funky dog, want some gum to chew? You. You're like you apostrophe R E is a contraction of you and R. You're not just a smelly basset hound, you're also a pogo star. Yo, you're about to get your mind blown, cause I'm about to rap about the homophone. Quick, get up out of your pajama show, we're about to get woke to the homophone. Come on. Homophones are different meaning words that sound exactly the same. Precisely. Why is the English language so insane? It's like ITS with no apostrophe means belonging to a thing. Like quick, give that baby robot its robot teething ring. It's like it apostrophe S. It's a contraction of it and is or has. Like that baby robot only goes to sleep if it's listening to jazz. Why like BY identifies who did something. That's right. Like this entire song was written by some baby robots that sing. Bye, like B Y E is a way to say farewell. Goodbye. Like bye, baby robot. See you later. Watch out for that stairwell. Oh, no. ah. Yay. You're right there? 
there like T H E I R means it belongs to them. There like T H E R E means it is in that place. Right there like they apostrophe R E. That's a contraction of they and R. Their UFOs are over there and they're all playing space guitar. Two like T O expressions motion in a direction. A direction. Two like T W O is referring to the number. To the number. Two spell T W O means to an excessively high degree. That's different. I'm going to the vet with my two friends Cause my chinchilla has too many fleas Too many Yo, You're about to get your mind blown Cause I'm about to rap about the homophone Quick, get that llama a blueberry stone Cause he dropped mad info on the homophone Homophones are different meaning words That sound exactly the same Exactly. Now, now your homophonous knowledge Will get some critical acclaim Hey, homophonous 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 now you know what a homophone is. Pretty cool way to dance to it. All right, so this is it. So what do you have left to do today? You have a math test to take. Possibly Jesus time if you haven't done that yet. And then we're going to draw a fly guy today for art. And then that's about it. And that'll be time for the weekend. Get Saturday and Sunday off. And then I'll see you bright and early on Monday again. See you later. <laughs>